we are installing a brand new master bathroom. So this is a remodel. Before, the cabinetry was all different sizes, different angles. There was beige on beige on beige, a step leading into the tub, and it was just time for an update. Our client wanted something that felt crisp and modern and a fresh experience when you walked into their bathroom. One of the biggest changes was the tub. It's this beautiful spa tub now. We got rid of the steps, all of the tile, and the statement with the windows is really, really nice. So the ceiling slopes in the bathroom, um, and above the tub, it was too low for us to do a really great focal point chandelier, but we still wanted to do something more special than a can light, so we did a really great flush mount fixture, and I love that it has this perforated detail. One of the other changes that we made was taking out the wood blinds and replacing them with soft linen Roman shades. And I know there are people out there saying to themselves, why did you get rid of the wood blinds? Because I know that they're costly, but you can hate me if you want. I think wood blinds look a little bit dated and they block a lot of light. And so because they feel reminiscent of a mini blind, I usually take them out. Now you can close the shade, open it completely to get lots of natural light and the fabric makes things feel softer. We love designing custom cabinetry. I think it just takes every space up a notch. And in here, we did this Riffs on White Oak, and at the bottom of the leg, you'll see a really cool brass detail. The lights are a statement. They have this really interesting glass shape, and they're brass, and uh, we have brass hardware on the vanity, and so we wanted to mix it up by doing the brush satin nickel on the faucet and on the mirror. And I love the low profile vessel sink that we did in here as well. So we have a standard size tile. We could have done a herringbone pattern, but we wanted to do something a little bit different with it. So we laid it in a two by two, and I think the effect is a little bit more modern, and I love the look. Moving to the shower, we changed the scale of the tile on the shower floor. Uh, usually we use a mosaic there because the tile installers need to kind of angle it so that water flows into the drain. We have this great faux marble on the floor here, and then the shape of the shower really stayed the same, but you'll see we changed the glass front to be all glass and used clips so it has a more seamless look. And then we added a bench. Whenever we can fit a bench in a shower, I say do it. We've styled the bathroom with really great McGee & Co accessories, and I love that we added a tree. This bathroom gets a lot of natural light, so it was a place that we could add some greenery. And anytime we have a freestanding tub, we love to add a little stool so that you can put brushes, soap, etc., next to it and adds a nice layer. The bathroom turned out so great. It feels happy and fresh and so spa-like, which is exactly how a master bathroom should feel, I think. Hope you enjoyed the webisode. Make sure that you subscribe for more.